Discord versus Slack, which one is better for work? Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing good in today's video. I'm going to show you how you can use Discord and Slack for work and which one is the better uh, platform for you and which you should use for your business. So without any delay, let's get into the video. So when you're managing a business, it is very important to keep in touch with your team. For that purpose, you use different softwares. So uh, you can also keep in touch with your um, team through WhatsApp or something like a simple social media texting platform, but that doesn't allow you as much space and as much uh, you know uh, features as these kind of platforms so the most common platform that is being used from ages is slack slack is a platform that allows you to have your chats with teams it allows you to have video calls uh, you know it allows you to have audio calls and everything uh, allows you to uh, have meetings and everything so it is a really great platform that people are using but it doesn't come for free it you have to pay different uh, versions of you have to buy different versions of slack to have your whole team automated on slack but on the contrary we have a platform which is named discord so discord basically started off as a simple you know social media chatting platform for gamers and everything but now it is gaining recognition and becoming a software which is allowing business to become a business management or business chat platform so it is very easy to come on discord and you know set up everything and it is actually free which basically gives it a lot more level it gives it a lot more recognition than slack because it is for free and you don't want to spend money just to get a platform that is is basically having all the chat and all the automations from the team and their views and their you know workspace and everything so you can just uh, go on and continue with uh, discord in a very easy way and the same is with uh, slack you can continue with slack is also a very easy way but before that let me make you uh you know see the pricing plans for slack as you can see this is the quickest and easy way to try slack it is uh, the free version their free version is available but the access to the most recent 90 days of message history is available then integrations with other apps like google drive of and everything one ratio one audio and video conversations with screen sharing so you cannot go on with uh, having a audio video conversation with your team because it is just one on one present on the free version but if you buy the pro version it is for 7.25 us dollars and it has all these features which are you know much better for you but if you buy the business if you have big business you must need something that is like the business plus and it is about 12.5 us dollars per month which is kind of expensive just for a platform that allows you to message and to chat and enterprise grid is like uh, it is basically the one that is available for big big enterprises and you can just contact the sales for the price that they want to give it to you and you can see all the features that it has they are really great and they're really professional so the thing is basically the slack is uh, why people use slack is because it is not just a chatting platform it basically gives you the whole project management tool as well you can manage your projects your task flows and everything on slack and you can keep in touch with your teammates as well so it basically it is like two in one it gives you the chatting platform and it gives you the project management platform in one space that's why people are using slack more and more and that's why it has been on number one solution for your business management and chatting uh, business chatting platform from ages but discord right here you can also do that on discord on discord yes there is uh you cannot do project management but project management tools you can uh, go on and find other project management tools for yourself and you can for chatting you can just use discord you can do that as well because it is free it doesn't even cost you money so how you can use discord first of all what you need to do is you have to add a server for yourself when you click on that you need to create my own server and then you need to create a server for a club or community or for me and my friends let's say for me and my friends so the server name should be let's say um this is the server that i'm going to use for sales so i'm just going to click on sales okay now i'm going to create a server the next time i'm going to create an icon and now i'm going to click on create okay so my server has been created now i can personalize my server like i can invite the uh, team members of all the teams that i have into the sales or uh, only the people that are related to the sales of the sales department i can just all those teammates into this from this invite your friends then you have to personalize your server with an icon i can add an icon then i send your first message and then download the discord app. So Discord app is also available for mobile and for the web as well. So you can just download it and it will be very easier for you to use. We have different options. We have GIFs. I can send, uh, you know, different stickers and emoticons. I can also send files from this option right here. I can create a thread. I can use slash command or I can also basically react on different messages. I will basically show you if I had messages right here, but I don't. But the reaction of messages is also available on Discord. So it is basically the server that I created is just for my friends. If you send 
Twitter server for community, you can basically any person from outside if you they search and see your server, they can basically add themselves into it. So you don't have to do that. You can just create something which is private and you can add only your team members and you can have all your chats right here. You can basically make video calls and you can have audio calls right here as well. So this is basically a really great platform to use just for chat for with your team and you can keep in touch with everyone and you can keep track of everything. If you we go on the Slack, it is very easy to create the account. You can just choose the, the Google account that you want to use and you can just continue with that. And after that, it will basically log in into your, uh, you know, Slack dashboard. Okay, now you need to create a workspace. So the server that we have asked on Discord before, it is basically called workspace on Slack. So on workspace, you can just go on and you can accept the invitation from different workspaces if uh, they have uh, wanted to add you but i'm going to create a workspace for myself okay so until it's loading the best thing about discord is that you can switch from server to server very easily like for example this is my server for sales this is another server that i want to use you can just switch it from like that but on discord it is not very easy to switch from workspace to workspace so setting up is easy what's the name of your company or team i'm just going to add in warehouse and then i'm going to click on next okay add teammate by email i'm going to add my own other email for example add from google contacts if i had any i don't have any google contacts so i cannot use that okay so you this is, see this is the basic dashboard of my slack here i have my warehouse which is the company name now i have basically added a workspace for me which is uh, get channel details this is basically sales this is my channel that i'm basically working on okay so this is uh, you can add channels from right here and you can add in different bookmarks you can send the message to sales you can add more teammates like the first teammate that i've added is this is me and another teammate is this person right here and i've added that but this person haven't accepted my own my invitation right now so that's why it's not active right now but whenever the person accepts the invitation they will be added so this is uh, me and i can send basically message to all of the teammates that i have or i can send message personally to this person right here so this is very easy to use and you can use browse slack and you can see what are the other options slack has direct messages mentions and reactions drafts and saved items slack content all channels files and people's and user groups and other apps so the good thing about slack is you can integrate a lot more integrate other apps onto slack like google drive zoom trello simple poll twitter google calendar so these are all the apps that you can integrate on slack and it will help you drive the data from that specific app into your uh, slack very easily if you want a more professional tool for this uh, purpose then you should go with slack but if you are okay with something unprofessional and uh, you know non-pricey that you can go with discord so you can use uh, both of them if you want to but i think so if you are a big business if you are a more professional business then the slack is the tool for you but if you still if you can work with discord then good for you so this was it for today's video guys i hope you found it helpful if you have any query just comment it down in the comment section below and i will try to get back to you guys and i will see you guys in the next video until then take good care of yourself and bye bye